we start by drawing an horizontal line called the horizon line. And at the farthest ends, we mark two points, they will be our vanishing points. Toward these points, we must draw all the horizontal lines that move away from us. Vertical lines, like the corners of the house, remain vertical. To find out what the midpoint of a wall is in perspective, just draw two diagonal lines where they intersect in the midpoint. We draw a line upwards so we know where the highest point of the roof is. At the end of the, uh, of the roof, at the other end of the roof, we copy the angle of what we have already drawn before. Okay. This is the door of the barn and a window. As you see, these lines go to that vanishing point. We copy the angle of this part of the roof and now we draw another part of the house in the same way. In case you are wondering, right now I am using a mechanical pencil with an HB harness pen lead. When we draw the first sketch of any drawing, it is convenient to start drawing with an HB pencil, since they are very easy to erase. Okay. When we draw the sketch, it is also very important to draw very gently, so the pencil will not leave marks on the paper that are difficult to erase if necessary. As you see, I repeat the process to see where is the midpoint of this part of the house. As soon as a guideline is no longer needed, it is time to erase it, thus avoiding making mistakes. Okay. Now let's make it a little more painterly or artistic. So this drawing will not be so uh, technical door here. Okay. Drawing in perspective is a bit difficult at first, I know, if you have never done it before. But with a little practice, you will master it without problem. Okay. Now I erase all my guidelines, as I said before. And with this pencil, a 2B pencil, I begin drawing final uh, oh, lines. Okay. If you really want to learn an advance in art, you need to learn to draw in perspective. It is it is a must. There are many types of perspective, such a uh, such as a, a with one vanishing po point, two points per perspective, three point perspective. I aerial perspective and many, many more. And with each one, we achieve amazing effects. And you may be uh, wondering why it is necessary in artistic drawing. Well, in artistic drawing, a uh, perspective gives us deepness to our uh, masterpiece of art, to our works. I draw dark, remember, when you draw something dark, it recedes from us, okay? okay? As you can see, I have placed the vanishing points very far from the house. This helps the drawing not to be distorted. If the vanishing points are very close to what we are drawing, the lines are very exaggerated and distorted. Although this does not, this is not necessarily uh, bad. But I remember once <laughs> years ago when I was still studying art <laughs> that I put my vanishing points very close to a house that I was drawing. <laughs> I was trying to make a very realistic drawing, I assure you. 
the fact is that it was so strange that my teacher congratulated me for just such an abstract drawing. I blushed with shame. Since then, I try to control where I put the vanishing points. Now we give some shade, some shadows. We shade a little to give it more three dimensionality. Okay. Remember to give shadows to the same side of the walls, not to every wall. The union, the house projects its shadows to the floor. And what do you think about perspective drawing? Do you like it? Is it uh, difficult for you? It is easy? If you want me to delve into a subject in perspective drawing, do not hesitate and put it in the comment line. If I know how to do it, I'll do it. Okay, let's make it more organic with some grass. Okay, now we already have our house. Let's make some other parts of the drawing. Now, with a few simple scribbling movements, we are suggesting that here is a path that leads to the house. These lines are pretending that here are herbs, grass, etc. Although the entrance to the farm is not very far from us, from the road, we do have to draw the path that leads to it increasingly wide, as it is closer to us. That adds to the sense of, adds to the sense of death that, uh, that it is in perspective and it is far from us. It's a perspective drawing trick. I don't know if I have explained myself. Sorry. Uh -huh. We will make it very simple and easy. Okay. I hope the video does not go too fast, since I have speed it very, very, very little. It uh, actually took me 25 minutes to make uh, this drawing in total. But if you want to see it slower in the YouTube settings, you can set it slower or faster as you wish. And you can also click on pause. <laughs> okay, the shadow. Okay. This is a very simple very simple drawing. As you know, in this channel I have many more videos on perspective and artistic drawing. Now let's make some tree, but organical tree, not so straight up there. You can draw the trunk of a tree completely straight, if that is how you like it, but I like to draw each part of the trunk and branches like that, like a little changing direction. This gives it a more organic look, I think. I am also going to suggest that it is not completely covered in leaves. Okay, more branches. But that it is has lost many of the, the, its leaves or that they have not yet come out. It depends on whether we are in the fall or in the spring. Now the shadow of the tree. That's a golden rule in art. The artist rules over his works. Remember, I repeat, the artist rules over his works. Since you are creating something that uh, never existed before, you have the right to decide how things are. Of course, the decisions you make in your works of art, some people will like them or love them, and others will hate them. That is normal. 
listening to constructive criticism is one thing that will, which will help you advance as an artist. Okay? But as an artist, you must have your own criteria and be the one who makes the final decision in each work of art you make. Okay? Remember, the artist rules over his works. Now let's draw something here. To draw the most distant area, we use what is called aerial perspective. To summarize, is that the things that are farther away from, uh, from us, we must draw them in lighter tones, in, uh, in a smaller size and with less detail. In other words, what we want to appear be, to be closer, we must draw it in tones with more black and white contrasts, with much more detail and also larger. Okay? Now I'll suggest some soft mountains in the back, like this, with the upper part of the mountains a little more dark than the lower parts. Without much detail, you may you may draw more detail, but it is not necessary. Okay, this two, three more here to give more contrast. And while I finish draw, uh, the drawing, the last details of the drawing, I ask the veterans who have been in the channel for a long time to close your ears for a moment because I'm going to say a few words for the new ones who have just arrived it. Already? Well, for all of you who have just arrived and say, oh, I love this tutorial, just remind, that, remind you that in the channel I already have many more than a hundred drawing and painting tutorial. In case you are interested in taking a look, I leave you a link above. Also, if you have not done so yet, I suggest you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. I try to upload one or two videos a week, although my health doesn't always allow it, so I think it is interesting that you subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, give it a like and share with friends, family, okay? Okay, I'm done. Everyone to uncover the ears that I am finishing this drawing. Reinforce now shadows and give a little more interest in interest in the sky. Now this is an artistic blurring stamp. It is made of rolled, rolled paper. If you don't have one, you can use a tissue on your finger. But never as much a drawing with your bare finger on the paper. Your fingers have a type of grease that sticks to the paper and can leave marks that are impossible to remove. This is how the police find criminals, because they leave fingerprints everywhere. When blurring, be very careful not to smooth the areas that you want to be very defined, okay? Only blur uh, some parts, like shadows, etc. Okay. As a small rule uh, or advice, in art and drawing, the areas that are in shadow are usually represented with less detail and the areas in light or whiter if, he, if it is a drawing with more details and the sky always blurred okay that is why it's so interesting to blur in the shaded areas since that way it seems a bit more blurred and they look better and with more contrast with the lighter parts now we are just finishing our drawing and now I am using a 4B pencil 
screen in all the stages I have used in the sketch uh, HB pencil, the rest of the drawing I, I have used a 2B pencil and now I'm, I'm using a 4B pencil very sharp in a point and this is a two, uh, 200 grams Fabriano paper you have the description of materials in the description of this video the list of materials, sorry I, ha I have turned off the lights that you can see the contrast because the fog, the lights are a reflecting light on graphite and we can uh, see details very well now a little more here it is difficult to shoot videos on drawing because lights reflect uh, on graphite it is it may it may be a very a nightmare <laughs> you see i have put out and the light and you see now the contrast okay now i have finished what do you think do you like it i think this is very good see you soon uh, be very happy draw a lot and see you next week Bye.